A Limpopo medical student, Dr. Budi Ravuzi, has been selected to travel to Kuala Lumpur for the International Surgical Week hosted by the International Society of Surgery. He joins me now to tell us a bit more about his story. Budi, firstly, congratulations on being selected for the Future Surgeon Program. Can you share what this recognition means to you personally, but also professionally? Thank you so much, and good evening to you and to, um, and to your viewers. Um, I, I don't take um, this selection for granted um, that a young person like me has been selected amongst thousands of applicants to represent my community in Maori, Karamboka, in Venda, Limpopo province, and South Africa at large. Um, this is an excellent opportunity for personal growth, but also serves as, um, in my opinion, motivation for young people upcoming in the field, um, especially with a background similar to mine, to take up space in the health sector so that they can transform it for the betterment of um, the people of South Africa. Mm -hmm. But how did you first become interested in uh, pursuing a career in surgery, but also an extension? What inspired you to focus on this path? Um, my, my interest is broader than just general surgery. Uh, my interest lies in public health medicine and global surgery. Um, coming from a rural background uh, myself um, and studying medicine or having had studied medicine, um, it has always been close to my heart to pursue ways and inno innovative ways to improve access to health care, but not only health care, but surgical care as well to different pathologies presenting um, um, in, 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 in the rural sector or patients in the rural communities presenting with different pathologies and how best we can improve that access to cutting edge um, surgical techniques and surgery in general, which has pushed me to develop an interest um, in, in, in global surgery. So can you describe the selection process for the Future Surgeon Programme? And what do you believe sets it apart for, or what, what sets you apart from other candidates, rather? Um, delegates are selected based on demonstrated leadership, surgical interest, and um, access to, to, to opportunities. Prioritizing medical students and pre-specialist doctors from low and middle income countries. And the process includes vetting and, and interviews. In essence, um, dedicated and hardworking candidates are selected, people who are willing to go beyond their scope of duty. And um, that's exactly how I see myself and how I present myself. I'm a demonstrated leader, um, having been awarded multiple accolades in leadership and service. Um, and together with my surgical interest and interest in global surgery, it put me um, as a good candidate amongst the 25 um, across the world being sent for this program. Mm -hmm. And what are your goals uh, for attending this uh, 50th International Surgical Week in Kuala Lumpur? Or rather, let me ask, what do you hope to achieve from this experience? So the International Surgical Week um, provides a platform for scientific and clinical working groups to collaborate and establish the foundation for future diagnostic and surgical challenges um, and discuss novel approaches and standards facilitating progress towards um, real-time patient-oriented solution, solutions um, and in, in just one week um, there are 400 speakers in um, 150 academic sessions as well as a, a number of surgical workshops to sharpen um, surgical skills. This is an excellent opportunity for me personally together with the rest of the group to mingle and network with some of the great leaders in surgery, get exposure to cutting-edge research and bring all that knowledge and skills back to South Africa um, to contribute to our healthcare system here at home. Mm -hmm. And how do you plan to leverage this uh, opportunity? I mean, you speak about the work that you're already doing. Uh, how do you plan to expand it uh, to Mukupani Regional Hospital, but also the broader Limpopo medical community there? So, um, us being, being a, um, a low to middle income country, and especially here in the community that I'm at, that I am in Mukupani, which is a rural community, um, having that kind of an access to people like that who are um, who lead us in the field of surgery and, they, and, and get an exposure to the kind of work that they're doing and bring it back to, um, um, to our context here at home. Um, and I plan um, to sharpen my skills via the workshops that will be offered 
um, and just drink as much knowledge as I possibly can from said people. I believe um, um, I'll be well placed and better placed amongst my peers to be able to translate that knowledge to um, the rest of my community here at home. Yeah. And could you share some insights into some of the projects or even the research that you've been involved in that may have contributed to your selection for this program? Um, my, my track record dates back to my university days. I spent a lot of time um, well placing myself um, to be able to contribute to the healthcare system in South Africa to the best of my abilities. Um, I, when I was still in Stellenbosch University where I graduated, um, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of um, Surgery, um, I was very involved in student leadership and service. Um, I served on the SRC um, and now um, as a medical intern working in Mokopane, I am currently the head representative for Limpopo under the Junior Doctors Association of South Africa. Um, under the South African Medical Association, which aims to bring and represent the interests of junior doctors um, um, in, in our context and nationally in South Africa, and make sure that young people and junior doctors in the field are prioritized, they are given access to spaces where decisions are made, and that their journeys are well cultivated to achieve their best ambitions. Mm -hmm. Now, you hold several leadership roles, including uh, with the Junior Doctors Association of South Africa, which you told us about, but also the International Association for Student Surgical Societies. How do these roles influence your approach, especially to surgery, but also looking at your career development, if you will? Mm, um, under the, the IAAS, the International Association of Student Surgical Societies, I serve as a policy manager. Um, I've always been interested in um, policy formulation, um, how health systems are designed, what influences them, and how best we can channel that policy formulation to best serve um, the people of South Africa, especially um, using an equitable approach, prioritizing vulnerable communities. Um, and um, I, I believe in the grand scheme of things, um, the both, both positions that I hold now um, only send one message, and that's prioritizing young people, making sure that they are well-placed and they are equipped um, to best deal with the problems and pathologies that face South Africa in the grand scheme of things and globally. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the challenges that you've faced, especially in your medical journey so far, and how have you overcome them? Um, it's, it's, it's very difficult in China. Mm -hmm. um, as a young and upcoming doctor in the field and the, 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 the field is populated with veterans in the field that have done amazing things mm. and um, to, to come into the field and command your presence, um, be eager and show ambition to contribute to the field and to society at large is, is, is quite challenging but I, I retain um, the fact that um, as a young person myself and the people that I represent, mm. we need to break through that barrier um, and, and force ourselves into ourselves into spaces where we can um, influence how decisions are made mm. and, 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 and repair the, the damages of the past that were inflicted onto our health system um, and offer innovative ways to move our country forward. Yeah, yeah. And looking forward, how do you envision the future of surgical practice in South Africa and what changes or improvements would you like to see? I would like to see um, more programs aimed towards um, making sure that the, 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 the top end surgical care mm. that's um, affordable um, and, and, and available to um, high end countries, available to um, our country in South Africa, and also um, not only our country generally, but people stay and reside in rural communities. Mm. Um, as mentioned, having come from the rural community myself, it would be a dream for me, ideally, to see the same access that we get in a city to um, surgical techniques um, and surgical care in those kind of rural communities. And I think more programs need to be designed, either by visiting um, or equipping those communities to be able to get such kind of cutting-edge care. Mm -hmm. And lastly, what advice would you like to give, especially to other medical students who aspire to achieve similar recognition or even success in their careers? 
My my advice starts from um, young people who are not even in the field of medicine mm. and, and, and health sciences. People who might come from um, a similar background as me who would, um, probably think that opportunities are limited for themselves. My message is don't run away from mathematics and science. When I was growing up, uh, my principal always used to say that do not run away from medicine and science. And I, I, I retain that same message that young people in vulnerable communities should not run away from subjects that will push them to reach their goals. And mm. if you're already in the field of medicine and health sciences, don't shy away from putting yourself and commanding space and making sure that you are influential and you can contribute as a young person amongst veterans. Wuti, thank you so much uh, for your time and sharing your inspiring journey and insights with us.